Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you two tools. Both tools deal with converting your PDF files or any other document format into a format which is understandable by your RAG pipelines or your large language models. The first tool is a simple and bit old tool called as PyMo PDF, which is a Python tool to convert your PDF documents into text files. And then there are few other conversions you can do among the formats. Another tool which we are going to convert is a recent update to this tool, which is called as PyMo PDF for LLM. This is more geared towards the uh, RAG pipelines and large language models because it mainly is geared towards markdown format. We will install both of them and then we will see how these both works on uh, work on PDF files. Before I do that, let's take a step back and try to understand why exactly these sort of tools are gaining so much momentum. If you have been following my channel, you might know that I already have covered a lot of tools around the same and similar functionality. For example, we can, uh, covered Doclink from IBM. We covered Market Down from Microsoft. Both of these tools and few others which we have covered, take your data in PDF files and few other formats and then convert it into either Markdown format or the text format. Mainly our intention is to go towards the Markdown format. So what is Markdown format and why do we need it? The thing is that in the co context of all of these LLMs and drag pipelines, data usage and feeding in Markdown format is quite important. These LLMs, they can generate coherent and contextually relevant text, but sometimes they produce responses that lack factual accuracy or context. When we incorporate RAG, we make our uh, LLM to respond more grounded in our own data. So RAG is enabling the integration of external data, which is not present in LLM's training data set. Markdown is a lightweight markup language that allows us to format plain text using simple syntax. It is widely used in GitHub, Jupyter no Notebooks, and a lot of other content management systems. When we feed the data into a RAG pipeline, using Markdown format provides several benefits like structured content because we can organize our information into heading, list, tables, and other structured elements. This really helps us in better understanding and context preservation. We can also do the basic formatting such as bold, italics, links, and that sort of stuff. We can embed links. We can um, read it very easily because it is human readable. And then most importantly, we can, it supports chunking. Chunking or splitting breaks down our own data or document into easier processing. For example, with this uh, PyMo PDF tool, we can use Markdown format where we can do the chunking. And the good thing is that it supports even level three of chunking, which is a document based chunking. I have another video where I have gone into all of these levels of chunking. So if you're interested, just check out my channel. So now you know what exactly Markdown formatted, uh, format is and what exactly these tools are trying to do. Let's install them and see them in action. I also want to give a huge thanks to Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs so do check them out. Okay, so this is my Ubuntu system. Let me create a virtual environment so that we keep everything separate. Okay, and now let's install both the PyMo PDF and PyMo PDF for LLM. Let's wait for them to get installed. You see it is quite lightweight, both of them. And now let me launch my Jupyter Notebook and we will play around with this in that you can use Python interpreter or you could even use your Python code in VS Code Editor, but it is easier to show in the Jupyter Notebook. 
okay so first let's see this pymo pdf in action which is a simple tool to convert our pdf file into the text format so all i am doing i am importing this pymo pdf i am opening this pdf file and then i am iterating through this document which we have just saved here and then getting that text so and then we can of course print it out let me run it and there you go it has given us the response it was fairly quick let me show you the pdf file too so this is a very small pdf file which i just created it contains some random data about myself now when i have run it it has produced a very very uh, quick find text let me run it again so you, you will see the speed there you go it's very fast and now let me show you the pi uh, pdf for llm this is a tool the reason why I think they are calling it PyMo PDF for LLM because it gets integrated with Langchain Llama Index. So let me first show you how you can create a markdown file from your PDF file. So again, we are importing the library. We are getting this IPython markdown and display uh, mod, uh, functions from here. And then we are use, using this to markdown function from PyMo PDF for LLM to convert it into markdown and we are displaying it and now when we run it remember this pymo pdf for llm is different from the pymo pdf because this for llm1 it deals with chunk so it is going to display you the chunk which it is doing so the best use case is to attach it to your rack pipeline let me show you so when i run it it is processing it and then it is displaying these chunks so which is quite good and then not only that but also you can store it in a file if you like and we are just simply using the path lib the default library from python there you go so it has just generated this file which i can also show you not this one let me go to my system it is called as zoutput.md so if i go here there you go so it has saved it in this file so all in all seems like a very nifty tool i think um, this thing can be improved because uh, if we want to this should be more flexible where sh we should be iterate through chunks more and we should also be able to convert it into other formats i also would like to see some more format supported but other than that i think it looks pretty cool Especially that if you have a Llama index based pipeline for RAG, you can even integrate it there. Something like this, where if you haven't already, you would need to install Llama index. I already have it. So I'm going to remove that. And then you just import it. You get a Llama index reader. And then you convert your file into Markdown format. If I run it, it is going to process the file and it is going to chunk it where you can display these Llama docs or you could use it in the llama index if you don't know what llama index is please search my channel i already have covered it in various videos so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it still i think a long way to go for this tool it's not at that stage as we have that dockling and even the market down because those tools are specialized towards ai but this tool which is not bad at all speed wise but a long way to go in terms of functionality and in terms of support for various documents and chunking too but other than that i think it's a good start let me know what do you think if you're already using it very keen to hear about your use case if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching